Good afternoon and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here from Beaumont's very own Cigar Club. Uh, something new actually this week. Very, very, very new and very, very limited. I was actually going to talk today about an interesting acquisition that's just happened in the industry, but I'm going to have to push pause on that and save that until next week's episode. So do make sure you are here for that next Wednesday. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this while I still could. Uh, the fact that I still have any of these is pretty surprising uh, because by the time this video goes up on Wednesday, uh, these have been here about a week now at that point. Uh, we just just got these here from the time of recording a couple of days ago and we've already gone through about half of them uh, but this is the 2022 craft from Roma Craft. Uh, the Craft series started in 2013, was the first release of it, and became an annual affair when it returned in 2018. So this is, I believe, the sixth iteration of the Craft series. Uh, this one is in a Robusto format, so we're looking at a 5x50. They're 10 count boxes. Uh, and each year for the Craft, it has been a different shape and a different, uh, I guess, design of the, the combination of wrap relief that they would use to make the cigars. Well, with this one in these 10 count boxes, each stick is a different design as far as the, the different wrappers and the layout and how the cigar looks. So there are 10 distinct wrapper combinations in the box, uh, in every box, but there are only some 2,500 10 count boxes that they've released to this cigar. There are, I believe I saw something along the lines of 200 20 count bundles or 200 bundles at least, maybe 210 count bundles. Uh, but there are some bundles going out. That might just be for online retailers to package with other things. I don't know that they have done any bundles on any of the previous releases, uh, but that's all I know. I know they're creating some bundles, but I'm not exactly sure what the purpose and point of those is going to be, unless it's just refill, refill bundles for retailers, which I'd be all about, and if so, hopefully we can get some more of these. But for now, we are down to less than three boxes. That's less than 30 sticks of the Craft 22. Uh, one thing I can say about it is it is one of the larger, actually, it is the largest release of Craft. Most of the Crafts have been either 10, 15, or 20,000 sticks, uh, except the 2000, I believe it was 2019. There were only 3,000 sticks of that one. So if you can find any 2019 Crafts out there, grab them, because they didn't make any begin with, hardly. Uh, but this one, we have a, a total production of 27,000 sticks, so that does make this the largest craft release yet, but again, only uh, 2,500 boxes. So if you wanted to get the lineup with the 10 different sticks in the beautiful box, uh, those are limited for sure. Uh, but what we do know about the construction, uh, Skip Martin from Roma Craft is not disclosing the blend uh, as to be expected from Roma, uh, probably all if not entirely Nicaraguan. In fact, the only even components that we're aware of outside of what we can look at the wrapper and try to guess is that they are using tobaccos in the blend from two regions in Nicaragua uh, and not Esteli. There may be some Esteli in there, but at least all Skip is talking about is Condega and Jalapa. Uh, so you Esteli tends to be that spicier side of Nicaraguan tobacco. Uh, Jalapa tends to bring some sweetness in, so this should be a pretty interesting uh, incarnation, uh, however it may fall. Uh, but again, this is the Craft 22 from Roma Craft. Uh, very, very limited. Uh, we'll surely see whatever next year has to bring. Each year it's been a different style and a different size. Never guaranteed that that was going to be the case, but so far that has been the case. So safe to say once these are gone, they are gone and there aren't many to begin with. And even though that we are filming this on Friday. Video again goes up on Wednesdays, so that is not to say that there will be any left by the time the video goes up. For your sakes, I hope so, because uh, every one of these craft products I've had have been really neat, something great to have, and even something really great to put back in the collection and age and something to look back on one day years later uh, when this thing has gone the way of the unicorn, which it certainly will. Uh, and again, next week we're going to talk about that interesting acquisition that happened uh, this past week uh, in the industry, and uh, we're going to be bringing a little something out of the vaults, uh, give you guys a shot at smoking something uh, that's been around for a good few years but has not been seen in many. At least not the version that we've got and we'll be telling you about that right here on the Humidor Report next Wednesday afternoon. And until then, I'm Justin. We'll see you at the club.